Hey Exoticals, I just wanted to come on here really quick and make a quick video about how we're not allowed to call ourselves light skin, red bone, yellow bone, or any of those terms. Only other people are allowed to call us that. I know for me, my experience, people always called me light skin. People would shout out, hey light skin, from across the room. Or, hey light skin, what you doing? When they were trying to holler. Or, I remember this one guy I was dating. He actually told me out his own mouth that if I were to ever leave him that he would be so upset because he would miss out on all this light skin he was extremely dark skin about the same color as Michael Jordan and he said that out his own mouth I will never forget that I didn't even know what to say back to him but almost every dark skin guy I've ever dated has some type of a light skin nickname for me some type of a term like yellow caramel hey red something to that effect but let me dare say it out my own mouth i'm gonna get ridiculed for it i'm gonna get flamed for it we'll even get fried for calling ourselves a nickname like caramel putting a nickname like caramel skin beauty anything like that as a um username as a stage name like light skin keisha she stays getting fried but dark skin people and brown skin people can have their terms of endearment and nobody says anything. If anything, they get praised for it, but they never get bashed for it. As a light skinned girl, I'm always on the lookout for colorists. The minute I talk to a man, I always check for colorism. If this man comes to me and is like, yeah, I only date light-skinned girls. I'm like, okay, why? No, because it's just a preference. Okay, so why don't you prefer yourself? Because to me, if you're, if you're a dark-skinned guy and you say that you don't prefer dark-skinned girls, then to me, you don't prefer yourself because those dark-skinned girls are what you are. So... If you don't like yourself, because to me, that's you not liking yourself. So if you don't like yourself, then how do you expect me to like you? Like, I'm not going to do that. If you look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, Ugh, I'm dark. I never want children that look like this. Then you're not the man for me because it means that that self-hate is going to go and it's going to affect the children. Light-skinned girls usually don't care about colorism. And I think it's very sad. I was looking at this Facebook post. It's an older post, but I was looking for some content for this particular video and I came across this Facebook post. I'm going to have the comments rolling as I'm talking. So it was a Facebook post from the actor Sen Sena, I cannot say her name. I can't pronounce her name, but she is a good actress. But her name is Sena, Sena Lathan. Anyway, I went to this post because I it came across on Google. <laughs> and her post said, finally, my yellow ass can get some sun. It's kind of like a, it should be like a funny, innocent joke about yourself, right? Like, but the comments are going in on her. But let her have been dark skinned and have said, finally, my chocolate ass is something, something. People would be praising her in the comments. But because she said she's yellow, she's getting fried in the comments. Like, I know this happens to a lot of us where if we dare say it ourselves that what we are, and we're only going to call ourselves that if our experiences can back it up. We're not just going around calling ourselves something, especially with this bad of a stigma with it, if we don't have nothing to back it up with. But we're not allowed to call ourselves that because it's so derogatory to say if you actually are that color. It's so crazy. The gaslighting is real. And I'm going to show some videos of the gaslighting because it's like, even when you are that actual color, you almost feel like you're not supposed to, you're not supposed to admit it. You're supposed to almost disown the fact that you actually are i'm gonna show a video as an example of what i'm talking about <laughs> you're light skin ass light skin i'm not light skin don't say there will be some light skin shit 
I'm brown skin. I don't do shit like that. Look, you see, that's because the light is right here. I change light. I get pale when the light in here, and then I get darker when the light not on me, but I'm brown skin. Bro. I'm not light skin. I'm caramel. I'm caramel, bro. Even in the dark, you still light skin to me. I'm not. I'm brown skin. I'm not light skin. Period. Don't call me that shit no more. I'm not worried about silly things like labels. People can call me whatever they like. They can even call me Dookie. Never call me Dookie! It's insane, right? Like, I'm literally looking at this girl and she... She's not... She is light-skinned, but... She's trying to, like, disown it or something. Because there's a stigma behind admitting that you are what color you are if you're light skin. But if you're brown or dark skin, it's okay. But not when you're light skin. But I'm done with that. I don't know about y'all. But we can express ourselves just like everybody else can. And if they don't like it, too bad. That's why I am glad the Exoticos community is growing. I am so glad we're growing. I encourage everybody to make their own channels. It is a therapy in it. It really is. It's a community in it. If you want to have community, please make your own channels. You don't have to show your face. This is the best solution for me because I have social anxiety. And I don't really care. I don't want people to know who I am because I want to freely express my thoughts without feeling like I'm going to jeopardize my real life. Like I'm, I'm just going to just be as transparent as I'm going to be as transparent as possible on this channel. And I don't care who doesn't like it. So I encourage everyone on here to please make your own channels. You don't have to show your face. Just show a bunch of pictures and just talk through a microphone and upload. And trust me, the way this algorithm is moving, it seems like the Exoticals hashtag is just moving this algorithm like crazy. I don't know what it is. So this is the perfect time for you guys to jump on this Exoticals while we're still in. Because I can tell we're trending right now. I can tell we're trending. I'm already getting comments that I have to block people. And I just got started like two weeks ago. Like literally when Exoticals United made a video about encouraging us to make a channel. Something went off in my head. I was like, I think this is the year for me to finally do that. Because I've been wanting to do this. I just, I just, I've been wanting to make a YouTube channel. I just didn't know what niche to pick. And then it hit me when Exoticals United said, make your own channels. And I was like, yeah, I can talk about this all day. Pretty girl issues and things of that nature. I don't see a whole lot of content on YouTube about it. I've been doing my research trying to find content that I can show examples of. And there's not a whole lot, which lets me know that this is one of those topics that people aren't talking about a lot. But I can tell... For my algorithm that a lot of people feel the same way. I can tell by the way Exoticals, the whole community is just growing. Every day I see a new channel pop up. So it just lets me know that it is a thing. It's just, it's not talked about. I don't have to show my face either. And I can get paid. Y'all can get paid off of YouTube. Did y'all know that? Y'all know that, right? I know y'all know that. I'm telling y'all, make your own channels. Come on. We gotta get this. We gotta unite. For real, for real. We gotta unite, y'all. I'm excited for what's going on. I'm seeing it with my own eyes. My, I, look at my I look at my analytics every day. I'm telling y'all, this is an exciting time for us. This is the year for exoticals, for real. I, we're done hiding in the closet. We're done being ashamed of being who we are. When y'all are the ones who told us who we are. And tell me all what y'all think in the comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening once again. And I appreciate you guys for subscribing. I see all the new subscribers. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Thank you guys for all the support and all the comments and all the love. Thank you. Thank you so much. And you guys, I put my email in my description. So if you guys have any personal questions personal stories about what you guys want to talk about textures and stories you know anything any experiences that y'all want to talk about email me and we can talk we can share
So let me know what you guys think, and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you.